What's up guys, Fear here, doing a tutorial for you guys. This tutorial is a tutorial on how to use the stroke effect in After Effects. This was, I got some good amount of requests on how to do it, and it's been about a month since those requests, so I'm just going to teach you now. And uh, this is my first tutorial, so I really hope it goes well, everything goes planned, I, I tell you how to do it properly, and uh, this is what it looks like. Oops. <coughs> so yeah, you can see those little black lines going in and out, and that's what I'll be teaching you. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. First of all, you want to go to After Effects, right-click, New Composition, make it as long as you want, doesn't matter, I'm just going to make it 10 seconds and go find your clip. I have some cinematic pa I have a cinematic pack here from other YouTubers that I've downloaded off from. Drag it in to After Effects. And if you want, you could double click it so it goes to your footage and you could just cut it wherever you like. So say you have a 2 minute clip but you don't want that 2 minute, you just want 30 seconds or something. You just go to wherever you want, click this set in point to current time. Like that go to wherever you want it to end out and just like that so you only have that area but I'm going to use the whole thing so drag it in crop it out so you can't see those black lines and what you want to do is right click here new adjustment layer and I want to get through this tutorial quickly because I don't want to render a 10 minute video it'll take pretty long so when you're on your adjustment layer click the pen tool or G control G whatever Go to the place where you want to stroke it. Um, if you want to move your clip around, just hold the scroll button and move it. And as a tutorial, I'm not going to perfect this. You guys won't really see it anyways because I already demonstrated it for you. Or not demonstrated, but showed you what it looks like. So I'm just roughly doing it. But when you guys are doing it, then you guys make it perfect. Put it on. Make sure it's on full so you can see the clip clearer there's no pixels or squares anywhere and there you masked it now go back to the adjustment layer right click effect generate stroke and as you can see there is the white stroke preferably 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 I would like it black because it just looks better instead of white because I don't know, you just can't really see it. So, it's up to you, make it whatever color you want, depends what kind of clip it is, what kind of color correction you have, so, I have a black one, and what you want to do, oh yeah, you could change the brush size, if, brush, brush size if you want, make it 4, make it really thick, but I don't suggest that because it looks crappy, 3.4, 3, 3 to 4 is pretty good, so, uh, after you do all of that, you want to go to the place where you want the stroke effect to start so I'm just going to start it at one second and when you're at that spot click end right here click the little clock ticky click it and then what you want to do is go to the place where you want the stroke not the stroke to start but um, how fast or where you want the stroke to end so if you want it to end at four seconds go to four seconds and uh, oh yeah, I forgot. When you keyframed it, make sure you drag it all the way to zero, so you don't see it. I forgot to tell you that very important tip, so I apologize if I screwed you up, but I'm sorry. And then, when you're at zero percent with this clicked, go to the spot where you want it to end, the stroke to end, where you can see the stroke all around here. And the farther, the longer you go, the slower it'll be. The closer you are to the spot that you keyframe, the faster it will be. So I'm just going to make it 3 seconds, make it nice and slow. Bring it to 100. And as you can see, there's the stroke. And one little tip here, do not put it on quarter or third because you cannot see it. You can see it on third, but it's not that clear. So don't get frustrated when you're viewing, viewing it on quarter because it's not here. Only do it on half or full. So let's go back. I'm just going to make it half so it renders faster. 
so it previews faster so press play and hopefully it doesn't take that long to load there we go let's get started and it starts pretty long but when you do it it won't hopefully it won't take that long as you can see the stroke is going looks pretty sexy it it's pretty good for stroking out cinematics or characters guns whatever you want and after when you're at that spot where the whole thing is stroked see what you want to do now if you want the stroke to come back like it rewinds itself not rewinds but it it goes like this like you can see it went from this full stroke and it just curled back up or went rewinded itself if you want that then keyframe start go to wherever you would like the longer the slower the closer the faster when it's at 0% just drag it to 100 and preview it if you would like I'm just going to show you what it looks like nice and it's pretty good oh yeah one more thing, do not use the stroke effect on a moving cinematic or a moving clip because it will just not turn out. It will not work because the stroke is an adjustment layer and that adjustment layer stays in one spot. Like, uh, like this. Oh crap, what am I doing? Like this. If you drag it like that, then the stroke will be here. So, don't use a moving clip. And, and as you can see it's coming back to itself and that is basically how you do this stroke effect and I may have not explained clearly on this tutorial because this, this is my first tutorial and I was kinda speeding it up so yeah that is how you do the tutorial and if you want me to do a tutorial on this color correction and there goes my phone if you wanna do a want me to do a tutorial on this color correction and no light factory then tell me and other than that, I'll see you guys later and hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and comment and if you um, if you do do the stroke effect and leave it as a video response. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace!